road rage and interstate shootings are on the rise, but why? We're just starting to see a lot more kind of violent uh, things and activities and um, you know, unfortunately, that's spilling out into our roads. The most recent interstate shooting happened Saturday on I-264 eastbound near Military Highway. Take a look at this video only seen on News 3. This is dash cam video that a witness caught. The victim was shot at by someone in an unknown car. I think it's alarming. I, th I think it's scary. Eric Mays is the co-owner of Peninsula Driving School. With many years of teaching safe driving on the roads, one of the things he says is important is to not antagonize drivers. You know, speeding, uh, more than 10 over the speed limit, tailgating people real close and, and not managing that space in, in front of you. Uh, not using your signals. Saturday marks the seventh shooting that has taken place on local interstates and highways since June 1st. I asked Mays in an event where a driver witnesses a shooting, how can they get away safely? My first thought would be to slow down or pull over or get off the interstate, even if it wasn't your exit, a stray bullet has no name. Driving experts recommend having a first aid kit in your car in case you have to help a hurt victim a dash camera, and some paper so that someone who is not driving can take down a license plate number. We do address this with our students. Like, we try to help them just understand that, hey, this epic road rage thing that's going on, is it's real, and it's happening, and it's happening more often. State police tell me from January 1st through July 13th this year, state police responded to 34 reported interstate shootings around Virginia. Last year, there was 74 interstate shootings, up from 52 interstate shootings statewide in 2020. It's dangerous out there. I also asked state police does Saturday's shooting appear to be a random incident or are they connected to previous interstate shootings? But they did not comment because they say it's still an active investigation. In Norfolk, I'm Kelsey Jones, News 3.